everybody, it's Donovan here. Um, I just want to do a quick kind of overview-ish thing on the Flight Titanium 51 that I just got today. Um, I was actually waiting for it like this entire morning. I thought it was going to be here at 10.30 and then I freaked out because it wasn't there. And so then I waited till like 11. I got there at like 11.10 or something like that. And I was really excited. But uh, it's amazing. I love it. I love this so much. Like I could feel the difference as soon as I got it. Like, you could tell this is, you know, kind of made to flip, I guess you'd put it. Like this, uh, it's made to flip and everything. But it's really good for EDC because it's super lightweight and, you know, you don't have to worry about it, you feeling it in your pocket and everything. It's it's awesome. But uh, I still love this knife, this one right here. It's, it's okay for flipping and everything. But this, this changed my like, my perspective on that knife completely. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And it sounds amazing too and it's just perfectly balanced and you know handle heavy and everything so it's perfect for I haven't even tried chaplains I've just kind of got a few roller rollovers and uh vape ball in so that's I mean it's amazing it comes with originally so this is cool uh the guy I bought it from uh like I don't know how to say his name over from uh, San Francisco anyways or San Diego actually uh shipped it to me and uh it came today like I said I got it for 280 I got really lucky for 280 I thought this might have been a clone or something because you pay, I think it's like 145 for the Flytanium scales themselves, and then 280 for the bench or the 51 by itself, you know. So you know that's almost that's like 350. You know, I'm not gonna do the math right now. That'd be like more than 3. That'd be almost 400 dollars, maybe even 400 dollars. That's a lot of money, you know, compared to the original 280 that I got, or you know, 280 I paid for this thing. But anyway, it came with the, you know. Uh, warranty thing and then it came with the box you can see the model on here anyway it came with the box um, and it came with the mic I think it's like a microfiber pouch I guess you'd call it yeah it's awesome I like it I'm probably if I carry this around I'm gonna be carrying this one maybe in my pocket I'm gonna go to um, Blackberry tomorrow and, and just flip this with uh, one of my friends over there in Black River. so that should be cool um, yeah I love it uh, I don't know if this is stone washed let me see this real quick I think it might be it looks stone washed so I think it is stone washed and these are milled out this this groove right here goes all the way down is milled out the holes I'm gonna assume are also and it looks amazing. It fits perfectly, and the noise it makes, it just feels so much more solid. It doesn't feel like a toy. It feels like a legit knife, like the green one here. It's so light, and it's just kind of, you know, you feel the G10 and everything. It feels a lot like a toy. You can still flip and everything, make it go pretty fast. But, uh, it feels a lot like more like a, like a toy, I guess you'd call it, or put it. But this just feels like a tank, and it's amazing. It's not heavy or anything. It's it's well balanced between like I think it's like 4.5 ounces that this is, comes in and the only only thing I have against this is uh, it didn't come with a pocket clip on it so maybe I can see if uh, I can find one of those lying you know somewhere maybe even have somebody make one I think I got an idea where I can get one but uh yeah I think maybe I might just leave the pocket clip off of it too though I mean it feels really good without the pocket clip and they're actually flipping a knife without a pot clip on it that's like uh, expensive. So it's pretty awesome. I'll do a review on it once I get a little bit more flipping in and maybe some EDC stuff. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, or I'm nervous about using it for EDC, is this is D2. And this is, this is really corrosive. And this doesn't have the black coating on it. That's why I got that one because it's so humid here in Wisconsin. Like right now at this time of the year, anyways. It's like. I need to need that black coating on. It's otherwise you have so much maintenance that has to go into from if you I work at a restaurant, so that doesn't help either when I'm cutting, you know, and just say like chicken or something, they have to wash it off and then it's oof, not the best thing ever. But uh that's pretty much it. I guess I'll go through these are the original uh G ten that this would have came with too if I didn't get the limited edition version. You know, same exact way I think I got yeah, I got this in the right handle. Yeah, it just sits in there like this. I think these actually have little cutouts inside of them that allow them to grip. Doesn't really look like they're cut out very well. 
I don't know if you can see that. This still has a little bit of the uh, stuff on it. That's all right. Anyways, that's pretty much the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm really excited about this knife. Uh, I can maybe get a video in a flipping. I could probably do that, just some flipping. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back after I'm done flipping. All right, thanks. So uh, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And uh, comment in the bottom. Let me know what you want me to change or keep original to me. Like, you know, change in the future. And what to keep in the future for my videos. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be back to you soon.